Hey guys and welcome to this video from Fast Business Skills series. I actually might uh, publish a new lab about this video on 30daylabs.com website as well. So if you want to go and check it out, uh, it's going to be in the business lab section. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how much time we have to get something done, whether it's your goal, whether it's something that you really wanted to do. It, this actually is a tip I learned from the speaker of my graduation back in uni and uh, I found it very useful and eye-opening and I just wanted to share it with you because uh, since the day I heard it, which was my graduation day, uh, I think about it maybe twice or three times a week. So it's a very useful tool and you would be able to use it and it gives you a general overview uh, on how much time you have left to do the things that you always wanted to do. So let me start with the fact that when we want to get something done, especially if it's a long-term goal, we always think about the fact that we have plenty of time left, maybe months, years, or decades. But let's have a look at it in a more uh, kind of clear way. So let's say that this square that I've drawn here, uh, let's say that we start by zero here means zero years old and this would be uh, basically our x um, axis would be uh, our age. So let's say the average time, uh, the average lifespan of a human being is 80 years. And on the y axis we have uh, maybe the days, the uh, hours of the day. So we have 0 to 24 hours. That'd be the way to divide this square. So let's assume that uh, the uh, middle of the square would be 40 years here. And of course we cut that in half, that'd be 20. And cut this side in half and that would be 60. So find your age on this scale. So for example, I would be somewhere around here. So I'm uh, 27 years old at the time of this recording. So I would be somewhere around here. What I do is I would draw a line from top to the bottom from the uh, actual, if I can get it right. Um, okay, that'd be like basically the time gone. This would be a portion of time which is gone. I don't have control over this time. This is the past time. Whatever I've done, uh, either I'm using the results of my efforts or it's basically a dead time. There is not much I can do about this. So that's the uh, gone portion of the square, the initial square that we started with. Another thing that you need to do is maybe divide the uh, 24 hours in three separate parts. And why we're doing three separate parts? Because that'd be three separate uh, chunks of eight hours. Because that would be the average sleep per day. So let's do another cut and that would be amount of time that we sleep per day. So this kind of red square that I've drawn, this would be the uh, your sleep time in the future, right? So if you have a job as well, if you're uh, currently employed, then you basically have another eight hours gone, maybe even more than that for your job. Maybe uh, you're traveling to your job, uh, maybe you're uh, going to uh, have food and stuff like that. Basically another eight to ten hours of your daily uh, kind of available hours is uh, basically dedicated to your uh, job and that is something absolutely normal for a majority of people. So let's say that we have this another chunk of your job being actually not usable as well unless you want to change it which which would be a different story. So you end up with basically uh, this portion, this top portion, so this would be your, I'm just gonna, so this would be sleep, this would be your job, 
And this would be maybe, maybe your free time. If you're married or if you have a family to uh, basically spend time with, then a portion of your free time will be gone as well. Or maybe uh, we need to allocate maybe a couple of hours to eating food and maybe watch, uh, I don't know, some kind of TV show or movie that you do every day. Uh, I'm not aware of your routine. So you need to take out a chunk of this free time that you uh, basically spend uh, on a day-to-day basis. Maybe it's on a routine thing or uh, generally it's based on uh, what you do every day. So what you can see is we end up with this small square here. Maybe yours is smaller, maybe it's bigger. Uh, for every person, this square would be completely different. But one thing that we haven't considered is that this square, we need to take another chunk out of it as well. And that would be our retirement. So if you want to retire by the time you're 60, basically this time, this chunk is gone as well. You don't want to do any work or that's the time that you enjoy the results of your work. So we end up with this small square. If I can um, get another color that we haven't used to illustrate the portion that we have to work with. So this portion is all you have to get everything you want done in your life. So if you're planning to achieve something, if you're planning to start your own business, this portion, this very, very important portion that we have here is all you have left. Depending on your free time, this would be something that you need to take out plan on and uh, take advantage of. Uh, I hope that this square gives you a better understanding of uh, how much time you actually have left, how much uh, resources you have. Because if you are planning to do something, to get something done, especially if it's long-term plan, we don't think about it this way. And personally, this way of thinking about uh, what we have uh, in terms of resources, time, energy, money, gives you a better understanding uh, to, to, and, and helps you to achieve your goals. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out the 30 Day Labs website for more of these videos, for more lab experiments and uh, really tools that you can apply to your life and get better results. Thanks for watching. Humans here and I'll see you later.